Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. My name is Mary Toomey. I started painting about 11 years ago when my youngest daughter turned one. And there was something inside me that just needed to come out after ha having four kids. And I went to a local art store and I used to wander around in there and not know why I was there, but knew that there was a reason. And um, I took a, an art class in the basement of the art store and after about a couple lessons I just decided I had to move faster. So I came home and just went to town. I started painting and pretty much taught myself how to paint using books and techniques and reading and, and copying other artists and just, you know, to learn. I've read plenty of books on different techniques and what you should and shouldn't do and this and I just don't agree. You know, a lot of books will say you should never use straight black or Payne's gray, and I think that a few of my paintings have turned out okay using just straight black or Payne's gray. <laughs> so it kind of, it's all up to you. My children and I take a summer vacation out to the Black Hills every summer, and there's just this beautiful little place where I can't take enough reference photos. It's just so beautiful. So I'm going to paint a picture of an old shed alongside a rocky hill, a rocky mountain. I want to lay down a base color so that I can build my colors on top of that. Sometimes while your paper is still somewhat damp, you can add other colors, like along this rocky hillside. I might want to start adding, and I'll use a sponge uh, in a lot of my paintings. I'll use a sponge to apply the paint. Uh, versus a brush because it just gives it such uh, nice texture in situations like this with the rocks behind you know you don't see too many perfect rocks perfect sides of the mountain and I will use a paper towel or toilet paper to kind of remove some color if I think that I've overdone it or um, just want some lighter areas I love to do landscapes uh, I get a feeling from the landscapes like I, a feeling like that I don't get from doing portraiture and flowers. I love to work with the burnt umber. I like sepia. I just love those browns. I don't know, I just love that feeling and that look. And when this time of the year when I'm out driving, I just get so excited and I'll tell the kids, look at that swamp, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it's really pretty, Mom. <laughs> but I love it. It just, I see colors I think that maybe no, a lot of other people don't see. I see those deep burnt umbers in there and I just, that inspires me. I want to go home and I want to paint that or I wish I had brought my camera to capture that moment. I'll go outside and, and look around and I can do so many different paintings just around my home. I have a beautiful pond out back where the ducks come and live and, um, I could make 20 paintings out of just that one pond and then the river down here and I ha don't have a problem finding something to paint. So when I do feel inspired to paint, I have to do it. I just have to, I have to do it. I will take two, three days and laundry will not get done. <laughs> Dishes might not get done unless the kids do them. And I just go to town and then I'm, and then it's like, it's out of my system and then I go on with life and then I do it again later. So yeah, I, I have to act when I'm in the mood and I feel it. Okay, right now I'm just building up texture. If you look at the painting, it seems like it's kind of all one color, but as you build and build texture and colors, pretty soon um, little high spots in the grass will show up and, and mounds and and shadows and highlights and pretty soon it starts to come together like a you know like you're looking at a real picture. I had a, a gentleman come through my gallery one day and he folded his arms and he's looking around at the pictures and he says well I can see you haven't established a style yet and this was when I first started painting and I said okay and he says yeah I can see you haven't established a style yet and I said well if I do, will you shoot me? <laughs> and he said, why would you say that? I said, because I, I don't want someone to look at my painting and say, oh, that's a Mary Toomey painting. 
I want them to look at it and look to see who painted it because I don't paint the same every time. I paint what I'm feeling and some days it's a real loose painting and carefree and then some days I'm really intense and into the detail. So you will see in a lot of my work where one painting just does not look anything like another. And that makes me feel good to, to express how I'm feeling that day when I paint. Another technique that I use is spattering. I like to spatter. It sometimes gets a little messy, but this really, I think, makes a painting look so um, real. You know, pictures aren't perfect. You can't, you can't draw perfect grass. You just can't do it. It just wouldn't look right. So a little bit of this gives your painting a lot of personality. I may have to add some more color into the foreground. I will add some rocks back here, but not too detailed. And then in the foreground, I'll do some more detailed grass. Since the last time you've seen my painting, I've worked on it a bit. So as we start today, I'm going to continue adding some texture to the, to the background, which is a, a hillside of rocks, and possibly some more texture to the foreground, which is the field, and then touch up on the building. And sometimes your spattering and stuff like that gives you the, the best texture possible, because it just is accident. Doing this procedure give me, gives me some rocks in the background on my hill. So just going to make some miscellaneous rocks back here on the hillside. Okay, as we let that dry down there, we're going to work on the, on the building a little bit, the shed. A little smaller brush here and add some detail to the windows. Make them set back a little bit. Just adding a little trim work. Little details to the windows and to the boards. Well, I think it's probably ready for my signature. There we go, now it's official. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org.